we can perform mathematical operations with our numeric variables. So we can say, for example, 2 plus 3 to add to an integer variable. And we can say 2.1 plus 1.2 or so something like this in order to add to a float variable. Now we are going to use debug.log to print this in the console and see it basically visually. Now here we can type a string. So for example, you can simply say hello or something like this. And if I go back here, this will be printed here in the console. Now in order to do that, you will need to create an empty game object. So go here under game object create empty and then you will have this game object in the scene and simply attach the script so drag it here on the game object or drag it here to attach it to that game object when you attach that script to the game object then we are ready to execute it and we can simply run the game so press play here and we will see here in the console hello has been printed out because well we put it here in the start function and we can use this debug.log to print out, well, our calculation. So here we can say, for example, one plus two is equal to. Now this right here is a string, which we know because we are typing it between these quotation marks. Now, in order to add an integer to a string, we need to do something called string concatenation. We say plus here after that string, and here we can say one plus two. Now this one plus two is an operation, so we can put it here in, well, these parentheses, which means we are adding, well, one and two basically. And this plus here will assign this, well, integer variable to this string, and it will make this, well, a string so this whole well code here it will be a string basically and this right here so string concatenation is not only for integers we can also use it for flow so we can say 1.1 plus here 2.2 for example or even append a boolean variable and it will come out as a string so if we go back here and now if I run the program we will see 1 plus 2 is equal to an well, basically that's three, but it's equal to three because we add it here. So here we are performing the operation and that will return the result. What we can also do, we can, for example, create an integer a and it's equal to two plus one, for example. Now this variable a will now be equal to three and we can test this immediately. So we can simply well, print out a here and we will see that two plus one is basically equal to three. So I will just clear the console and if I run the game now, we will see that we have three printed out in the console because we can well also assign a variable by using these operations. We can do the same thing that we did for this integer here. We can do it for a float variable in the same way. Now, before we wrap this video up, I want to show you one more thing and that is using a random range variable. So we can type here random range and here we can provide two numbers. So let's say for example, 10 and 50. This will generate a random number between 10 and 50 and it will include 10 in that number, but it will disclude 50. So it will be between 10 and 49. And this will assign that variable back to our integer a and this is a common way to program a random behavior in games basically so we can go now in the console we can run the game so if i press play we will see a certain number which is 31. if i rerun the game we will see another number well there is a chance that we can see 31 but it's basically 1 in 50 but we see 49 and as i said this will program a random or this will generate a random number between the two specified numbers and it's a common way to basically program a random behavior in our games and we can also assign this to a float variable or to another integer variable so on and so forth but i just wanted to show you that you can use random range so basically just type random dot range and provide two numbers and this will generate a random number and assign it back to our variable